Hey guys, this is Graham here at TheRecordingRevolution.com. Got a video for you today on tape saturation. And specifically, we're going to look at a couple of plugins that you can use in your DAW of choice to bring in some of that, um, you know, warmth is the, the term most of us use that is uh, missing from digital recordings, if it were. If you long for that special something or if you've heard about um, saturation, uh, this is the video for you. I'm just going to show you kind of what it is, let you hear some examples of it, and give you some some starting points to sort of think about maybe using it in your mixes. I've got a, a track here, and, and what I like to do, I mean, I record digital, so I'm recording everything um, into you know, through my pre's, my audio interface, it's all going into the box, right? I don't record onto an analog console. I don't record to tape. Um, and same thing is true when I'm playing back. Now I've got these tracks that are completely um, digital now. Uh, they never went to an analog source um, past any preamps or anything. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to mix through some tape saturation. And what I mean by that is I put a tape saturation plug-in on uh, my master bus or my mix bus. So I have a, a sub mix fader here that I run everything through. And this is where you could put compressors, um, you know, a limiter, um, like I've got a limiter on here just to make the, the mix a little louder. But I, I slap on um, these days AC2 um, from McDSP, which is just a tape saturation tape head emulating plug-in okay there's a million of them out there there's all sorts of other brands and companies out there but what it is is a plug-in that just creates some distortion and it tries to mimic the way um, natural slight compression and slight harmonic distortion happens when you record to tape or you pushing audio through tape um, it sort of tames some of the, the spikes and the, the peaks, and it kind of compresses the audio a little bit, depending how hard you're hitting it, and it tries to bring that back into your mixes. What that translates to for many people, me included, is this brings some warmth, some uh, something that's, that's kind of missing in the digital domain, and I think it adds a subtle um, but pleasing effect. And so I, I put this on at the beginning of a mix, before I've used any plugins or made any mixing decisions, and then I mix through it, as it were. So here's a, a basically a completed mix. Let's press play, and you can hear it, and then I'll take away the, the saturation plugin, and you can hear the difference. So if you're listening to it in headphones or on good speakers, you, you would hear some of the bass drop out a little bit. Um, it, it comes down a little bit in overall volume, um, but it loses nothing. There's nothing wrong with it before. Um, this is it before. But then a little tape saturation. I think it brings a subtle energy and warmth to your mix. And really, it, it, it once you've been mixing through something like this, it, it really can make your mix fall apart if you take it away at the end because it affects the EQ of your mix. It affects um, how you will process the individual tracks. And, and that's kind of what we're recreating in the digital age is that sound that you got naturally from recording to tape uh, recording on an analog console, all these plugins emulate that so that you mix accordingly and in the end you get a sound that sounds more warm, analog, rich, and the the special something that we realized is gone when we went digital because digital is perfectly clean. All of a sudden you hear, oh, it actually doesn't sound as good when it's perfect. It sounded better with a little bit of um, this slight compression and distortion that the tape was doing. So... AC2 is a good example. You can get this. Um, it used to be only Pro Tools. Now you can get it for Audio Unit. Um, and you can also get something, if you're a Pro Tools user, you can get Massey's Tapehead. Uh, Tapehead is, let's see, 
it's completely free off of Massey's site. I wrote a post on this before. Although it's technically a demo version, it's unlimited usage, no you know beeps or anything in the sound. It just doesn't have recall and you can't bypass. Um, so if you're okay with remembering what these two knobs did or writing a little comment in your fader, uh, then you have a free tape distortion plugin if you're a Pro Tools user. And there's many other out there you can demo no matter what DAW you use. The key here is subtlety. So I really don't have much uh, distortion happening on my AC2. It's just enough that it's coloring the sound and then as I run everything through it, it builds up, builds up, builds up. So I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. You can use something like this on your, your master fader and mix everything through it. Just don't let it be over compressing and don't let it get to super distorted. Just back it off till you barely hear it. The other option is to put something like this on a drum bus. So if you have all your drums running through a stereo group fader then, you could slap some effects on that fader that'll affect all the drums. Go ahead and put something like a tape saturation plugin on that and run your drums through it. It will sort of slap down on the drums a little bit, fatten up the kick, fatten up the snare. You'll get a really fat sound. It's really, really cool. So tape saturation in a nutshell. Go demo some plugins. See if you can get a free one. You don't need it, um, but it adds a little something, and it might be what you're looking for for your mixes. Hope that helps, guys. Again, this is Graham at therecordingrevolution.com. Please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. If you like these tutorials, then you'll instantly know when new ones are up. And if you haven't checked out the blog, go there now and download the free ebook.